what we're going to talk about now is the concept of crossing your hands in kata. Okay? Quite simply, if he's standing right about here and he punches me, okay, I am not going to cross my hands first, then block. Okay? This, it, it, it tactically does not make any sense. So when he punches, when I do this outside middle block, okay, I have two ways that, I, there's several ways to do it. I have two major ways that I'm going to do that technique. Okay? The first way is when he punches, I block. Okay? That's it. All right? a, lot of, a lot of the argument is, and it's understandable, but a lot of the argument is when you bring this hand up, it allows you to put more hip motion into it. Okay? What you're seeing is the snap in kata, not the power in kata. In order to have power in your kata, your body weight and your mass has to be going in the direction of the technique. Okay? So what I'm doing here actually has more power than this. Okay? This looks like it might have more power because of, because of my hip motion. But quite simply, if my arm comes up and right about here, I just throw all my body weight into the arm when he punches, okay? I'm not having the snap on the end of the technique, but I am hitting his arm extremely hard, okay? So, option one, he punches, I simply block it, okay? This hand does not come to the hip. It goes up in a guard position, okay? So again, Okay, I'm here. Option number two is the crossing hand concept. When I do this, okay, which most of your blocks in your kata do, they have that crossing hand. If it is now understood that it doesn't make any sense to cross your hands like that before you do that basic block, then there has to be something else here. That something else is that the crossing hand is actually doing something. Okay? First thing we have to do, we have to change our range. Okay? When he punches me, when I look left and he punches and he misses, okay, it do, doing anything just from here doesn't make any sense. So now I'm going to face him. Okay? Now he's going to punch. Boom. Now I'm in range. I'm going to first get out of the way. Then I'm going to use this crossing hand to affect that punch. Then the blocking hand hits him here, hits him here, hits him in the arm, and is reaching down to grab his wrist. Okay? But the point is, you're seeing this. Or this. Or this. Okay? You're not seeing this. Or this. See that hand cross in front and then not do anything? Okay? We, we want to try to avoid that. Alright? Think of it a little bit more like this. Okay? That crossing hand, because of the way my hips are working, has a ton of power in it. Okay? One more time. Okay? Last time. Okay? That is the reason behind the crossing hand. That crossing hand is doing something before the blocking hand has a chance to block. Okay? Now, if you take into consideration evasion and some sort of strike or kick to distract the guy, then you have an issue where he does a straight punch. My constant is blocking, striking, kicking. Clean slate. Now I'm going to do this. Okay? Crossing hand, then my block. 
That is your homework. One more time. If we have variables, we know these things are constant in the kata. This is the end result. When he punches, this is because we are in a fight. Because of the fight, this, 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 this. All of that is going on. Once I see my opening, whatever opening that may be, then that is applied. Okay? It is certainly not me looking this way, seeing somebody out of the corner of my eye, looking, they punch me, miss me, but I feel the need to throw all of this power in this block. And once I make contact with this block, he hits me with his other hand. Okay? Then it's a chess match. He moves, then I move. Then he moves, then I move. Okay? Smart karate is all about picking off one of his movements. If he punches me, I don't want to block and then have it be his turn to hit. I want to hit him and block and move and distract all in one motion. Then, when I apply my outside middle block, it looks more like this. Okay? And when I apply my straight punch after the block, it looks more like this. Okay? Or, if you want to be a little mean, okay, this isn't a punch after the block. This is another block. But it's really not a block. All right? It's hard to appreciate that blocks are not always blocks unless the reason behind these crossing hands is known. 